anybody in here? Hello? Hey, what's up, man? I'm over here with um, filming this shit real quick. I'm drunk. All right. So whenever you're ready. All right. So we're going to talk about uh, La Bamba. Uh, it's the movie based on the life of Richie Valens. It starts out with some weird kamikaze planes coming like towards each other, <laughs> which is kind of stupid because it's like these two planes and it's broad daylight and then they just run right into each other. <laughs> Boom! <gasps> Wakes up, beautiful Richie Valens, Lou Diamond Phillips, who's not even Mexican, he's Filipino. But it's this really cool song, and it's just La Bamba, and like it's motorcycles, Indian head motorcycle. You see Bob come in, he's really cool. Mexican American, who's actually Puerto Rican, the actor, Isai Morales. He finds his brother Richie wearing a bandana with a rolled up white shirt and some khakis. And then Richie's like an idiot, brings up his chick. He's like, oh, hey, Bob, look, this is my chick right here, Rosie. This is my brother, Bob. He's cool. He's dangerous. Like me, not like me. I'm safe. Richie's like the cool guy with the guitar, carries his guitar everywhere. He's a rock star in the making. And then meanwhile, Rosie's like, oh, no, I know, it hurts. Why didn't you tell me this is your first time? <laughs> you didn't ask. You're a very special girl. And then you see Bag and Bob just cruise up like, like not more than 50 feet. What's doing, Richie? And Richie's like, my should ask you the same thing. Oh, was that your chick that I just de-virginized? Sorry. Turns out like Bob's like got a house in Pacoima, California, right? He's got close to LA and Richie wants to be a rock star. So they're like, screw it, we're going to Pacoima, the mom says, we're going to Pacoima. <laughs> Rosie's like hardcore conservative Mexican dad's like, Rosie, you better get back to work. So then like they take off, say bye to everybody, bye, poor Mexicans, we're going on to something better. Oh, we gotta pick him up, huh? So then she jumps on the bike and then they take off, the dad's like, no! Rosa! All of a sudden it cuts to, they're in Pacoima, and Richie's in school, you know? And like, he sees this really pretty white girl coming to class, her name's Donna, and she's a little too out of your league. You're a little too wet back for her high tone. And then he's like, all right, whatever, yeah, I'm cool. He goes to his tryout for the, uh, the silhouettes. They're like, all right, what can you do, man? We already got a drummer, we already got a singer, we already got a bass player. And he starts, but he's like, Saturday night now, some, 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 some. I'm gonna rip it up, I'm gonna shake it up, I'm gonna rip it up, I'm gonna ball it up. And then this dude's just like, look at him like, oh shit. I just invited LeBron James into my band. And then Richie comes home after his really great night and Bob's like smoking weed with his big fucking biker friend and his, his ruka. So then Bob's like, come on, have a little hit, put a little mutt on the love line. I don't need this, I'm going to bed. Come on, I'm just kidding. Come on, Rosie. And then the friends are like, hey, we need to get out of here. Bob's about to get crazy. And we're leaving, Rosie, have a good night. Rosie, you made my friend. Friends leave, bitch, what the fuck? No, you're drunk. You better open the door, Rosie. She stuck to her guns and he kicked the door open and got what he wanted. He's got some loving, some forced loving, some rape. Haven't you had enough? Don't you ever get enough? Rosie, is everything okay? What's up, Richie? Fuck you on, man. Oh, sorry, Bob, I'm cool, man. So, <laughs> I'm pregnant. Most dudes would be like, what? Shut up, it ain't mine. Not Bob though. Bob was like, not my first or my last. Uh, the next morning or the mor next afternoon, Richie's you know, walking in the nice suburban neighborhood and he's walking his chick home, who's not really his chick yet. Hey, I got a show. And I'm playing with the silhouettes and you're gonna wanna be there. And she's like, all right, cool, all right, I'll be there, right on. Who the hell's that? She's like, well, it's my friends, Richie. Richie, hmm, what is he? Italian? So I guess apparently the only ethnic uh, 
people that were accepted back in the 50s, 60s were Italians because he didn't know what a Mexican was in San Fernando Valley, which is very weird. And then they cut to Richie in the silhouettes at some shitty garage. And this terrible dude is like on the mic. He's like, oh, Shalina. He's like, fuck this, man. I know I'm better than all these dudes. What am I doing on the bench? But he just takes it, plays his gig, gets back to his car, and all of a sudden, here's his mom. Richie, why they don't let you play, Richie? They don't know that your grandpa was a yucky Indian. So she goes to this bar and this redneck guy, she's telling this redneck, she's like, hey, you know, my son Richie, he's really good and you need to let him play here. And Richie, I don't know who this kid is and now we got a bunch of country folk in here and they don't like that rock and roll. You let his father drink himself to death in this place. At least you owe him that. Richie's like, I don't have a drummer, I need a drummer. And, then, and Bob's like, I don't know how to drum. It's not to smuggle drugs. And he's like, well, you know, you can drum. Just follow my lead. He got a boy straight from California, USA. He's Ricky Ricardo Valenzuela. Howdy. Richie figures, I gotta cater to these shitheads. Otherwise, they're gonna lynch me. Let's play some fucking Buddy Holly. This is, this is one out of Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas? Follow me. All of my love, all of my kissing. You don't know what you've been missing over, over, and you're with me, over, over, and anyone can see that you fucking this goddamn beaner can sing. Get on the dance floor. And then fucking Bob gets in. He's like, over, over, over. He's like, fucking, all of a sudden, this fucking dude thinks he's this piece of shit, thinks he's like part of the band. Boom. Cuts away, and then all of a sudden, it's breakfast in the hood. Bob comes at Richie with like a proposition, like, hey man, you know, we could do this together. He's like, you know what, Bob, why don't you focus on being a good husband? You know what, I don't need this shit, man. I'm fucking flying this chicken coop. I need to take it upon myself to promote my Richie. Okay, well, screw it. I'm gonna go out there and make some posters. So then she starts drawing up some posters, and then you see Bob come in, he's like, a monkey could draw better than this. And she's like, well, if you think that a monkey could draw better than this, then do it yourself. And he gets all his biker friends. Put this shit everywhere. We need to get the word out on my brother, Richie Valens. And then Richie shows up at the venue, showing his homies and his crew. He's like, hey, check it out, man. My mom pulled some strings. The one guy, of course, the jealous lead of the whole crew was like, hey man, I don't like this and I'm the leader of the Silhouettes and the Silhouettes don't want to play here. You guys coming with me or what? And the dudes are like, screw you man, you can't even fucking sing. Then Richie looks at him like, I guess it's what? Which I didn't get when I was a kid because like, why do you say I guess it's what? Because the guy said, are you coming or what? And I was like, so they didn't, they didn't come with him, which means they said, we're gonna take the what? Which was cool if you understood it, but as a kid, I was like, mm, I don't know what the fuck that means. That's not, that's weird. Uh, anyways, they had their show, you know, the flyers got out. Donna got away from a racist white daddy. I was praying, oh, I was praying. You had to have a do nothing wrong. Something, something, I was framed. Oh, what's going on with this Mexican kid? I like the way he plays. I'm gonna have to proposition this guy. Boom, the doors open, and here comes the pompadour, the Bob Valenzuela. Richie, this is my brother, I'm proud of you. We promoted this chair, we made it happen. Hey, bro, what the fuck? They start fighting, but no Mexican American can resist. You see your brother get punched in the face, boom! He's like, shit! Took the guitar off, then oh, fucking shit, boom! Richie's punching people in the face. Puta no chingue, no mames. The fucking, I didn't think that existed back then. Anyways, cut to everybody shitting on Bob. Poor Bob, he's like the toilet, man. Everybody just shits on Bob. Bob says, fuck it, I'm leaving. Bob 
right? Bob's a fucking garbage man for some reason. But he gets a good route, which is to the studios. And he stumbles across some animation cells. And the other guy, this big fat Mexican guy, is like, Oh, no chingas, why? Don't go to get to work, no chingas. No, 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 hey man, check it out. This is good stuff. Oh shit, look, I could do this stuff, man. This is some bullshit. And then, uh, oh, shit. And then there's the buzz buzzer, and then this and that. All right, all right, fuck it. Go. Go, go, roll it. So long. All right, cool. And then all of a sudden, you see this fucking magical white man walk up to the door. Richie, how you doing? I'm Bob fucking Komasayama. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Good for you, Richie. Good for you. I don't speak spec neither. I like your music, Richie. We're gonna fucking record you. We're gonna record you over here. Where are we at? I thought we were going to the studio. He's like, nah, I recorded in my basement. I hope you don't mind. And we belong. He puts him in the booth. He starts feeling it. Just feeling it. Just doing his thing. He's like, I don't know no better. And then everything's going to change for Richie. Richie's got this new life. But Bob entered the contest. Bob entered the, the art contest. All of a sudden, Bob gets a letter in the mail. He's like, oh shit, I won. A one. And he goes and tells Rosie, and Rosie's like, fuck you. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Drop me a fucking check, motherfucker. Fuck you, you don't respect any shit I do. Mm, some good tequila, motherfucker, thank you. Hope you fight with your wife more. And then <laughs> he starts feeding this poor rabbit tequila. And then, what's going on, man? Hey, fucking Rosie, she don't understand, man. Well, you should be there for the for Rosie when your kid's born. It's like, my father wasn't around when I was born. Why should I be? And then the mom shows up. Hey, I heard that Babo wants to sign you to a record deal. No, my man, way. And he's like, hey, don't put all the intention on me. Bob's got some good news, too. And he's like, oh, what's your what's your good news, piece of shit? I won that art contest that I entered in. Oh, that's so great. You can pay for your new little bastard that's fucking coming into the world. He goes, it's okay. All our dreams are gonna come true, amigos. Okay, so after that, Richie is woken up to the real world. The real world of takes. Hi, Richie. Takes is a motherfucker. What the fuck? Why can't I just sing the shit like I did in the garage with the silhouettes? Because like, fuck you, Richie, because we're paying you millions of dollars. That's why, Richie. Uh, let's start again. Well, don't rewrite the song. Just do it the way you did the first time, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go, little motherfucker. Hey, I don't hear a different take in one of them. This is some bullshit right here. And I was like, hey, you get the money. You don't get no money. Fuck you. Richie, come here. Come here, Richie. I gotta talk to you about something. We're gonna change your name. All right, T C H V A L A N Z. Richie Valens. As I grab you. You can't change change that shit. That's our name. You just just cut it in half, eh? And then Bob walks away. Hey man. Change the fuck out of that shit. I would change the fuck out of money. Call me fucking Todd Smith if you have to. Give me some money. So then Richie. He's got his fame going on, you know. And then all of a sudden, I got this new song that I want to put out into the uh, the radio sphere. But it's about you. He's like, and Donna, Donna, boo, 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 boo. I love it, Richie. I fucking love it. Hey, Richie, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you eating such a pussy? He's like, she don't like you. You're Mexican. You know how it is. You got it for rent. I know what your problem is. I'm going to take you out to get laid. You go to Tijuana, and then they go to this place. And he's like, oh, well, I'm just here for my music. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hang with those lobos. Ay, arriba, ay, arriba. 
Ahí arriba, ahí arriba, no manches, no manches, no manches más puto. Richie wakes up after having one of his fucking uh, kamikaze plain dreams. Bullshit ass dreams. Fucking pretending that dreams tell you the truth. Kitchen gals. They're singing, dancing, whatever. And so, okay, so Richie wakes up. All of a sudden, like, he's 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 hungover, and he wakes up, and he's like, what the fuck is going on? It's like Danny Glover, like Mexican version of Danny Glover. And he's like, Richie is a mother, no mama's way. His name's He's giving you that. Okay, so... Richie's making it happen. He's on tour. He's like, at first he was like, I don't feel really good, Bobo. I don't feel really good about uh, flying. I don't, I don't like this. You know, my friend died. A plane <laughs> fell on him. A piece of a plane fell on my friend. Killed him. He didn't even have his papeles. Okay. Cool. So then, anyways, so then Richie goes on, right? Richie's like playing concerts like crazy, wearing his talisman of power that his fucking viejito gave him in Tijuana. He's like, chinga esa He comes home to a party in his favor, in his honor. And he's like, hey, Bob, okay, what's going on, man? I want to be your friend. I'm your brother. You're not my friend. You're not my brother. What? I thought I was your brother. I thought I was your friend. No, fuck you. They start fighting. Boom. Boom. Rips off the fucking rattlesnake necklace. Fight stops. Why? Because rattlesnake necklace is the core of the story. Apparently, the rattlesnake necklace is the magical fucking being in this movie. Because all of a sudden, hey, guess what, Papo? I'm sick. I'm sad. I miss my family. Oh, I love you too, bro. But fuck off, man. I gotta raise a little baby over here with your rattlesnake necklace. Yeah, it kept you safe. But guess what? Now it's keeping my daughter from getting the diarrhea. Him and Buddy Holly and Big Bopper, who apparently in this movie loves his own phrase. Every, san- every chance he gets, he's like, hello, baby. Pulls his dick out to piss when he goes to the bathroom. He's like, hello, baby. I hope that was not the real Big Bopper, because if the real Big Bopper was defined by, hello, baby, in every fucking scene he was in, then he's probably a fucking idiot. <laughs> my brother, my, what's going on? It's okay. So, uh, Big Bopper, Buddy Holly, they're all about to get on the plane. They're like, hey, Richie, man, what's going on? You and this white fella over here, you're going to have to flip the coin. And whoever wins gets to die. Like, I'm sick as fuck, man. I don't give a fuck. I just want to get on this plane, baby. Like, hey, Rich calling there, head or tails. Rich is like, heads. Boom. Come on, baby, 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 nanny, lost, hey, Richie, man, fucking sky belongs to the stars, buddy, boom. Cut to Bobo tinkering. We just caught word that the big bopper and uh, Buddy Holly and Reggie Valens just died last night. What is it? What's the matter? Boom! Where? Ah, what? Get putas with? No, I don't believe it. Instead of fucking just starting up his car that he was just working on, he just runs on foot to go see his mama in the fucking house that Richie bought her a couple frames ago. Not my Richie. <laughs> Anybody but not my Richie! You 
Bob, I wish you were dead, but fuck not my Richie, no! Bob's like, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you say, bitch. This is my brother. I love you too, Bob. <sighs> then fucking beep. Here's a bit of a rattlesnake. What if Richie haunts me because of this? Probably. Una por la desgracia para mi padre.